What is up everyone? Stonepost34 here bringing you more of growing up with Stonepost. This is, it's not one story, uh, but this is going to be um, my history with smoking. <laughs> and I get a lot of trouble because my name is Stonepost, or that's my gamer tag. People think I'm a stoner. I'm not a stoner. Uh, anyway, this is going to be about my history of smoking cigarettes. In fact, I'll probably throw in my history of smoking marijuana uh, towards the end of this too. So, um, First of all, I gotta say, uh, tomorrow I think I'm gonna start the recording on PS3. Sorry, Xbox, we'll do it later. Uh, for Road to Sub Commander, I think that's what I'm gonna call it. I don't know what do you guys think. Um, I'll leave a link. You guys can uh, check out the other video or just look to the right. It should be there. It says "I need you" uh, with Uncle Sam pointing at you. So uh, I think we're gonna start that. That's where I'm gonna play with subs. Uh, it's gonna be my Road to Commander series, and it's gonna be with you guys. I think it's gonna be fun, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. So I think I'm gonna start that tomorrow. Follow me on Twitter. I'll tweet out when I'm looking for at least five people to uh, join in on a fun, probably you know, video or record a few games in a row. So anyway, let's jump into. Uh, my smoking history. Now you need to know a couple things. Uh, my grandmother, she actually died of emphysema, and one of the, she actually quit before she passed away. Uh, about eight years before she passed away, and one of the reasons she quit was me. Um, growing up, I had childhood asthma, and it was it it, it wasn't like uh, I'd go outside and lose my breath. Um, it was triggered by certain events. Uh, being around smoke was one of them. Believe it or not, eating too much candy or sugar, having too much sugar would uh, get me hyperactive and I'd, I'd get an asthma attack. I don't know if you've ever heard of that, but I, I finally grew out of it uh, by the time I was about 10. And still to this day, I can't eat too much sugar. I get um, really, I don't, it, it's gross, but really phlegmy. And uh, maybe that's why I don't weigh as much as maybe I could. So <laughs> I don't know. So anyway, uh, I never smoked in high school. Never smoked, I never drank in high school believe that or not. Um, so what happened is I started college, uh, going to the university, and um, if you've heard any of my stories, I, uh, I worked retail, worked outside, and um, spent a lot of hard hours doing um, physical labor, and that's when I first started drinking. Now, sometimes people say smoking leads to drinking. In my case, it was drinking led to smoking, and this was my freshman year in college. Now, I've got to tell you, I never, I actually I did. My very first girl, serious girlfriend, uh, Blanca from Spain, she is the only girl besides my wife that I ever dated that smoked. And I kind of made her quit smoking, which I feel bad about. Not my wife, my first girlfriend. And um, so anyway, that's a long, that's a whole other story. So I, I picked up smoking. And it was like, you know, I'd be at a party and I decided, well, I'm just going to pick up a cigarette and smoke. Um, so I basically smoked from the time I was 18 until, well, it's, it's on and off. I quit several times. The big time I quit was in 2001. So basically that would be about eight years. So 2001, uh, my boss approaches several of us that are still smoking. We just built this new building and he approached us. He said, you know what? We just built a new building. I'm excited about it. Um, you guys need to quit smoking and here's my offer and I was all ears. I didn't make a lot of money back then, so you'll, you'll hear what happened. So he said, uh, anyone that can quit smoking for a year, verifiable, you know, you're going to need witnesses, people to vouch for you, I'll give you $1,000 cash. I was like, hmm. He goes, you need to quit smoking by the end of this week, and uh, we'll have our one-year anniversary of the building, and if anyone's done it, I'll give you $1,000 cash. Man, I was all for it. So... Um, you know, I'd been smoking on and off for about eight years. And, um, I, at that time was, uh, actually dating my wife and I told her, I said, I'm going to quit. She was still smoking. And I said, I'm going to quit. I'm going to try this out. And it, it was a little tough for that first week. If you've ever quit smoking, it is tough. Um, but there's one trick that I've always had that helps me, you know, cause I probably quit a dozen times and probably quit 20 times. I don't even know, uh, is, uh, exercise exercise always helped me. It made me feel good. It was a good thing to put uh, in place of that time that I'd be smoking. And if you've ever exercised after having a cigarette, it sucks. So <laughs> it's a good way to let your body or tell your body, uh, here's what it feels like to feel good. And here's what it feels like to feel really bad. 
So uh, anyway, that whole year went on. Did not smoke. Uh, he did not believe me at first. He had my brother vouch for me, or I, I had my brother vouch for me because we'd go out. He's like, no, he's never seen me with a cigarette. My uh, my other buddy who I'd go out with, uh, and then of course my now wife. And I never did smoke. He came. Uh, he we had that one year, excuse me, anniversary, and um, of the uh, building, and he gave me a thousand dollars and. Um, I decided, you know what, I wanted to do something different instead of just spend it, so I bought myself a, uh, a watch with all the money. That was it. And the main reason I did that was to remind myself when I'd look at my watch um, that I quit smoking. Now that was in 2002, okay, so um, I, <laughs> I fell off the wagon. It took me about four years. I did fall off the wagon. What happened is my, uh, my youngest daughter had it, it turned out to be nothing, but at the time it felt like the world was caving in. Um, she ha had some health issues, some fluid when she was born, and it was just uh, it was pretty stressful. Five days basically in the hospital, and eh, I'd say it was four days. Um, and I did break down. I went and bought a pack of cigarettes, and I, I started smoking. Um, that was in 2005, yeah, 2005, and um, I smoked on and off for probably about six months to a year. I don't even remember. And here's why I don't remember. Um, I don't know when I had my last cigarette. And here's what happened. Uh, it was that, that time frame, 2006, whatever, somewhere in there. And um, I remember coming home. I was just coming home for lunch. It wasn't like going out to the bars or anything. Came home from lunch and uh, just had a cigarette in my car. And, you know, it's about a 10-minute drive. Had a cigarette. And I, I was just disgusted with myself. I felt like I'd, I'd cheated on myself. I'd let myself down. Um, and more importantly, um, my kids. I felt like I was cheating them. So um, anyway, I, I don't remember the day. I just remember I was coming home for lunch. I didn't even tell my wife. I wadded up. I had like a half pack of cigarettes and broke them all up and threw them in the trash. And that's the last time I've ever had a cigarette. And that, that's the honest to God truth. Um, I just, you know, when you get so disgusted with yourself and you feel like um, you've really let yourself down, that's the point I got to. And, um, and now I run, you know, I went running the other, actually three times this last week ago, you know, two and a half, three miles and I feel great. And um, I don't, I don't miss it at all. Occasionally I'll have a cigar. I think I probably had two cigars, three cigars maybe since I quit. And um, I'm, I'm okay with that. But the whole smoking thing, I just had to, I had to quit it. So let's get to the uh, wacky weed, so to speak. Um, I only smoked marijuana, I think, a total of four times. And it was all in college. And uh, the last time I was dating this girl, she smoked marijuana like I drank beer. <laughs> and she, she didn't smoke cigarettes. That was a weird thing. And uh, Heather was her name. And I remember she's like, I was all nervous about it because I'd only done it once with her, and I got super paranoid. And then uh, th this is the last time I did it. We decided to uh, watch, I think it was Seinfeld or something, and we're hanging out at my apartment, and um, I actually liked it. And <laughs> this sounds so weird, but this is me. I liked it, and I was like, man, that was a lot of fun, and uh, I'm done. That's the last time I'm going to do it because I felt like if I opened that doorway, that gateway, so to speak, uh, that would be much more trouble than I really wanted to get into. So anyway, guys, that's my history on smoking and a little growing up with Stone Post. Uh, look for uh, Road to Sub Commander coming soon. And take care as always. This is Stone Post 34.